Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about a productivity app called Notion in two parts that is briefly talking about basics of Notion, how to create a page and add content and secondly how I use Notion. I'll attach the time stampings in the description below so that you can skip to wherever you need and can save your time. Before getting into the video, I'll talk about how I make my notes online. If you have already saw my previous videos, I used OneNote and I've also used Evernote app and Excel sheets for prelims. So what is the difference between all these apps and Notion? Basically, in OneNote or Evernote, we have a different structure. For example, in OneNote, we have notebook and then notes and within those we have sections, pages, subpages and we can organize accordingly. We cannot customize it the way the structure is arranged, whereas in Notion, you create pages, layouts, templates that suits to your work in the best way possible. So now, let's explore Notion. Initially, we start with workspace and I have named it as CSC zone and within the workspace, we have series of pages and we can also add pages inside this. So let's create a page now. So I'm naming it as Geography which is also my favorite subject. Let's add an icon here. So this is the facility we have. Uh, this is like decorating our notebook and I'm selecting a globe for Geography just for fun and we can also add a cover like we do in Facebook. We update uh, like cover page right so this is the same way and using unsplash i'm trying to find a, a landscape or a good landscape picture so i got it i'm changing the cover page and yeah so this is kind of decorative so yeah within geography now we have several topics like climatology geomorphology oceanography right so here i am trying to um, make this sub pages so here is a list of basics that we can do with the content like making headings or a toggle list or simply a page it is like page and in inside that we have topics and for that particular topics we can again make those pages and create a separate notes within that particular topic so by clicking on the left icon of uh, climatology i'm trying to turn these into a page so we have uh, again several options and i'm choosing page here so these are the list toggle list means we can make a different uh, subtopic inside a topic and yeah i'm clicking on the page now this climatology has become a page now we can go inside this page and create the content and in the similar way so here are the three pages now i'm clicking on uh, climatology so that uh, we can do the same uh, with this adding an icon and uh, adding a cover page so here I'm choosing a rain with thunder <laughs> so this is kind of uh, decorating our notes and also adding the cover in the similar way I'll choose some uh, rain related theme here using unsplash okay and yeah I'm typing a uh, rain so let's select one among this yeah this is okay right yeah so in this way we can uh, create a page within page and uh, we can go about doing this to several topics also so here again we can add content or we can make subtopics and create pages for example, in climatology, we have subtopics like structure, composition, evolution of atmosphere. So now I'll type all these subtopics here and show you how it looks like. So now we have all subtopics. So what we can do now is we can turn this into a text heading or a page or a toggle list like I selected inside this subtopic we can make 
like separate nodes for structure composition and evolution so i'm trying to give these three headings these three as headings so i'm turning this into heading one and inside it i'm trying to add content now using slash command text we can add text here and then to make it more organized and understandable we are selecting this slash command of breadcrumb so that we get a complete picture of the notebook so let's let's do it and uh, yeah now we have geography and inside geography we have climatology so this is a basic hierarchy here and this is a toggle list so this is how you can do it i have already made geography page i am showing you that so this is the entire toggle list and the sub topics so i will show you and the structure i have arranged structure composition evolution and in atmospheric circulation we have circulation pressure humidity clouds precipitation atmospheric disturbances cyclones local winds types so this is how you can totally arrange your uh, notes and yes i have did for oceanography and geomorphology also and now we shall talk about the templates that are already available in the notion so clicking on the templates we get this window and here are some of the templates under the subheadings like personal engineering education let's get into the education template and see whether uh, there are any useful uh, templates for us and there are many indeed reading list and um, lesson plans course schedule these are basic templates which you can use and modify it according to your needs see for example uh, this is a list uh, it shows by all lessons or by status so lessons could be table in a tabular form or a calendar or list gallery etc so here we can change this like by clicking on by status it gives us the status of the task which we have entered in it it is basically like a database so here we can have a clear picture of what all our, our tasks and what we need to do and what is our agenda for the week we have weekly agendas also so this is how we can change this subject of the column by clicking on the column subject and changing whether it is text or select multi select or date and files media or url etc and we can even make a check box like if we want to click on the add icon and we can make a check box this enables us to track our task and make sure that the targets are met as i said th these can be modified here i am uh, making this as ancient india book and these are all the lessons lesson dates status type so we can use this basic template and change this accordingly and uh, yeah these are also separate pages we can open them and yeah we are directed to this page same as we created a page so that here we can modify according to the subject and have an icon cover page etc and it's the same thing so this is a ready made template for you and uh, yeah this makes the job very easy and next is how i use notion for now i'm planning my youtube content and uh, my sociology study plan um, i'm updating the status of my preparation as i already have notes on almost all topics which i made using one note and also evernote i would not shift to notion so if you are a beginner you can try and uh, you can make a good notes uh, well organized notes i could say because this is very much like a database as well as note making app it is not just a typical note making app it it gives you the data it can track your progress it can track your preparation 
Although all three apps, OneNote, Evernote, Notion, are the best note-taking apps, each of them serves different purposes. Like if you want to create notes from, uh, you know, scratch and then have them properly organized, you would need OneNote. And if you need an all-round app that serves purpose other than note-making, Notion is the one. As far as storage is concerned, we have maximum file upload size limit of 5 MB in Notion which is too small for a CSE aspirant whereas in OneNote it is 2, 2 GB. However, storage limits are connected directly to user's Microsoft OneDrive account. So guys, I hope you figure out what you need and stick to one app throughout your preparation and make the best use of technology in a smart way.